What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Been a long while making a video. Cars about the same. Still pretty boring, but it's it's getting faster, so we're making some good progress. Got a you'll see in the video had a issue last time out at the track. The wastegate seemed to be failing. Didn't know, hadn't had any problems out of it before. Ran it and uh, noticed the boost was creeping on the launch. Uh, wouldn't stay at around the 10 pounds it was supposed to. And I'll put the passes in here and you'll see the, a couple of the passes are better than they have been. And then the last pass we really, uh, we, we went to the moon. So it's more than what I was wanting and expecting and everything else. And I'm working with uh, Jonathan, the wastegate's right here. Jonathan at her on I got it broke apart it's just it's going out I've had the kit on for a couple years bunch of two-step bunch of problems uh, not problems it's been a great kit her on kits awesome haven't had anything but help from them on any little issue they uh, they do great uh, Jonathan's awesome to work with uh, answers all my emails quick any problems I have needing a part needing a solution so I'm um, getting with him and getting another, uh, I think it's the Huron Speed 44 wastegate coming back. So hopefully get the car back on and uh, you'll see in the clips kind of what it did and what happened. So stay tuned. All right, I got the car up on the jack stands. So the car had done a monster wheelie, biggest it had ever done. And the only thing I can see that got hit which i'm trying to show it might not show that great but um see the discoloration right there that right there is where the bell housing which is trying to give you all perspective is the lowest part on the car so it's it definitely got hit right there that was the big sparks, um, like you saw in the video, nothing else is bent that I can tell, tie rods look good, control arms look good, nothing really underneath, those are all marks from install, but everything else seems to be checking out pretty good, but like I said, that's the, that's probably the best perspective I can give y'all of the underneath of the car so it's a good bit lower than the oil pan i mean you can see right here is the oil pan so you can see right here to the bell housing that there's a shoot there's probably a full inch difference so it rocked the bell housing pretty good but everything else seems okay car's got oil pressure oil pan didn't get crushed so gonna take the car to get in alignment because it did seem to knock the steering like out a little bit I don't know if it turned the I don't know if it turned the wheel or what happened but I'm gonna take the car get in alignment this week and hopefully have it back good but like I said both both sides seem okay and I got the wastegate off which is a whole nother thing which is part of what happened which I'm gonna be explaining so stay tuned all right, got the wastegate off, got it open. Huron HS44, blue five pound spring. And doesn't seem to be anything physically wrong that I can tell. Never rebuilt a wastegate or had to do anything like that. But it's it's not moving very good. Like it's not, it's got a lot of, resistance like now it's locked in sometimes it's not as bit like that yeah i can't even get that to move like i just did so that pressure shouldn't be changing and i don't know if it's from heat or where or what but talk to jonathan he's uh helping me out we're gonna get this sorted out um like i said her on been an awesome kit great people haven't had anything but good things to say about them but we're gonna count this guy as the culprit as to why I did a monster wheelie 
and uh, get it swapped, get the new one on, get the alignment, and be ready to hopefully make some passes here soon. So that's what we're going to do, and hopefully next week maybe be, be back running down the track again. All right, so you saw the couple passes that the car's doing pretty good. Uh, the first pass back out was no changes. Um, bogged on the line, was running my buddy Zach, SOB. He's always there to help. Gives a hand to me whenever I need a hand on anything. Good people over there. It's 5th Gen's fast as hell. If you haven't, go check them out. SOB Motorsports. But um, ran him, messed up, went to the limiter, let it come back, grabbed the two-step, started making boost. I think I left on two pounds of boost at the most. So left on that. Next pass, went out and made a pass, on, actually leaving on the two-step. And uh, it went... It went a high 630, I believe, at about 114. Come back around, make a change to the clutch. I slowed it down a little bit on the tamer, and it helped. It picked up the 60 foot um, a little bit, and it went a 631 at uh, like 113.9. So gained a little in the 60, but you know brought brought that ET down some. And I'm trying to get back in the low 130s, mid to low 130s, which the car is capable of doing. Uh, you saw, you saw in the last pass that it'll dead hook a slick with 17 pounds of boost and just go to the moon. And uh, the only damage I've noticed so far is the bell housing. I do have to get in alignment because it kicked the steering wheel a little bit. I don't see anything bent. Don't see anything loose under it. I am going to check it a little bit more and. Once it goes on the alignment rack, I'm going to check it again then, but thank God it didn't do anything to the oil pan or anything like that. Um, all that seems fine, but that was a 135 60 foot on the back tire, so that's the area I'm wanting to be, but without the huge wheelie. So it's coming along, it's getting there, I mean I have no doubt with the low low 1360 foot that it'll get into the 16 to 60 range and then it's just about pouring some power out the back side because first and second gear still only seeing about 16 to 18 pounds and third gear is creeping up to 20 but I mean it's on very low timing it's on full 80, E85 so I mean the setup has a good bit to go um, shouldn't be any problem to get it into the high fives uh, just have to get the 60 foot working so I need to really you know I need to get that reeled in and everything so I'm not gonna ramble a bunch it's been a while I have a lot of crazy stuff going on but I'm hoping to get to start churning out some videos regular here again and uh, appreciate everyone being here if you haven't like subscribe share you know I'm almost to a thousand sub mark so yeah, seven. I think seven fifty at the time of this video. So appreciate everyone who's here and who does watch and who sticks around. So hopefully, gonna actually start getting this thing and make some fast passes. It's getting to be boost weather, and we're gonna see what it'll do. So appreciate y'all and thanks for being here.